Okay, so a lot of folks ask me how to make the design of their Google Slides more beautiful, and um, it's not so hard. What I like to use is a design tool online called Canva, which is one of my favorite tools for pretty much everything. It's great for creating posters for your classroom, infographic projects with your students, fun, um, well-designed syllabi, classroom newsletters, anything like that. Canva is just awesome. And it's a free tool uh, unless you want to get their really pro elements, which you can get um, if you apply for the Canva for Education program, but you really don't need to. So once you're at Canva, canva.com, you go up here to create a design and you want your design shape to match the shape of your slide. So Let's say I'm working in an eight and a half, 11 slide, which is how I usually work because I like to be able to have the option to print it to paper. I'm gonna create a new design and I just have this blank eight and a half by 11. Now along the side here, there are a ton of options. You can insert photos from their huge photo bank. You can insert different things like lines, shapes, frames for pictures. You're probably not gonna use stickers for Google Slides. Um, different icons, they have tons of different options. You can go to text. Here in text, they have like different designs for text that you might wanna use, or you can just use um, a heading, a subheading, or a body text. Once you insert that, you get a ton of options for fonts and changing the color. So these are kind of the basics. There's also backgrounds. There's tons of options for backgrounds of your page. Um, but for this example, I'm going to show you something I just designed recently for um, a hyperdoc I was creating. So I just wanted to make the background on the slides pretty and consistent. And so I put in a blue shape, a blue rectangle with a purple rectangle on top of it, a blue line coming across. And then I put in my text um, that I wanted at the top of the page. Then I clicked this one to duplicate the page and I changed the text for it here. Then I clicked to duplicate the page again and I changed the text for it here. So all I wanted was sort of a simple background on each slide with the header and a nice font and, and sort of pretty colors. Now, if I wanted to, could I add more? Yes, I could add more. I could go into photos. I could add, um, you know, a picture of a desk. I could add, um, not a picture of a desk. I could go into elements. I could click in something like pens for sketch notes, and I could add a cup of pens sitting at the bottom, right? Or no, I don't like that. I could add a mug, but I can't really see it. I could get rid of that. Um, I could go to uploads, and I could upload my own picture. Um, maybe I wanna show a picture of one pagers that I've uploaded here from my own classroom or from a friend's classroom. And I wanna show students an example in the page. You can do um, pretty much anything you can dream up in Canva when it comes to design. But let's say I just want to put this background that I've designed now behind a slide. So I'm gonna go to download and I'm gonna download just that page, page one. I download it to my desktop. There it is, so I'm gonna click export and I'm gonna call it first page of my sketch notes hyperdoc. Now I'm gonna go back to my slide and I'm gonna click background and I'm gonna choose it as the background. So whatever I had designed, however it looked, would now be the background of my slide. And now I can start to design on top of it with anything I want, right? I start putting in my text boxes. Welcome to this hyperdoc. And from there I can start to add links um, and I can type paragraphs and I can make text boxes for students to type into whatever I want. But I have this background as my kind of fundamental um, design. And that is how I design the 
the more technical graphic backgrounds inside slides. I don't like to design them here in slides. <laughs> I like to use Canva and I recommend that for you too.